Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So it's getting colder here in Australia as we're kind of getting ready for winter now. So we're moving away from summer shades and bright summer colors and more into wintry colors. So I came up with this look today. It's just like a vampy winter look. Uh, it's got some dark lips and darkish like a smoky eye with a little bit of glitter on it. I think it's lots of fun. Uh, if you want to see how I got this, then just keep watching. Okay, bye. <laughs> hey, so I'm looking really pale because I am really pale. But also, there's a window behind me, so it makes me look more pale. Hopefully, once I get some color on me, I won't look quite as crazy. But let's get started. Uh, let me zoom in here. Big. Okay. Um, so I've already primed my lids. I just used the Face of Australia primer. Uh, next I'm going to take my chocolate bar palette. I'm going to take this guy and just going to do it on my brow bone. Um, I have the tendency to over blend a lot of the time. So I find by placing this shadow under my brow bone first, it kind of helps me a little bit. Um, get that hair out of the way. Next, I'm going in with a flat brush and that colour. And it's kind of going to go on like the inner third of my eye. Now I'm going to take that gold. And that's going to go in the middle. Of course I decide to film when like someone's got their lawnmower going. Why is this? So I don't know if you can hear that, but if you can, sorry. Should have done a voiceover. Uh, now I'm going to go in with this colour right next to it, this darker shimmery brown. And you guessed it, it's going on the outer third. And I'm not really being, like, meticulous about how it's going on. I'm not, you know, blending it super well or anything. I'm just getting the colour down and then I'm going to blend later. Oh, there we go. Sun moved, so now I look a bit less washed out. We'll see how long that lasts. Then I'm going to take my crease brush, my fluffy crease brush, and I'm going to take... Where'd you go? That matte brown shadow there. And doing my crease. Okay. I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush and gonna start blending all that. Are you kidding me with this lawnmower? <sighs> Next, I'm gonna take, um, that colour there, that kind of maroony colour. I'm gonna put a little bit of that out here. And I'm gonna take the really, really, really dark brown colour here. And that's gonna go on the outer V of my eye. I want to leave the um, outer corners looking dark so that it will blend in with the lips when I get onto that. Gonna go in with that 
brow band color again and just kind of blend that all in. Now here's the fun part. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit of chapstick. I know it's really weird, but it works. I did it for my um, glittery blue eye tutorial. A um, little bit of chapstick kind of in the center. And it's good because it doesn't actually mess up the eye shadow either. Now I'm going to take uh, a little bit of this eye candy, can we see it? Eye candy glitter sprinkles in the colour Ginger Snap and I'm over carpet right now so this is really interesting. Just tapping away with the glitter. I'm just patting the glitter down. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear what's going on outside. <laughs> my mum and my brother are talking and they're just going, okay. Okay, I'm healing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Um, so that's that. Gonna go in a little bit again with that dark polar. Just like over the top a little bit. Yeah, boy. That's the shit I do like. I feel like it kind of needs like a warmer color to blend out into. Um, so I'm going to take this color there and a fluffy brush and just kind of doing a little bit up here. Yeah, that's better. Just clearing that up a little. It's a good thing about doing your eyeshadow when you've just got moisturizer on and no um, foundation is that you can just do that if you want to. Now I'm going to take the Napoleon Loose Eye Dust in the color Mosaic Gold, which is just this very fine glittery pigment and I'm just gonna press it into my tear duct it's really nice cool uh, now I'm gonna do the bottom so I want to put a little bit of like reddish purplish in the bottom um, because the lipstick I want to use has some of those tones in it so I'm gonna take that same fluffy crease brush again and I'm gonna go up with this top color there and yes I know it looks absolutely bizarre now don't worry You cannot judge art before it is finished. <sighs> it looks really weird, but that's cool. Um, next, I'm going to take just a liquid um, pen, pen eyeliner. This is the Sports Girl to the Point liquid eyeliner.
I'm actually not winging it out because sometimes we need a change in our lives. Uh, I did some bottom eyeliner as well. Um, last for eyeshadow, I'm going to take this guy and he's going to go on the bottom too. Kind of more on the outside. Not outside, outer um, half. And zooming out, that's the eyes temporarily done. Uh, we're going to come back to them though. Uh, going to move on to the face now. I'm going to take this NYX uh, pressed powder called Caramel and I'm going to use this to contour. Then I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Cheeky Bronze. Just using a little bit of that right here. And then I'm actually using the Chi Chi eyeshadow. Um, it's called If I Could Turn Back Time. And I'm using that as a highlight. So go on there. And there. And there. And there. And there. Highlight is life. Got my blush palette here. Going in with this colour and this colour, which are the colours that I use every day. Okay, brow time. Okay, so eyebrows are done. They're not really on fleek, but they're fine. Um, while I went and put some lashes on as well, so while I'm waiting for them to dry, um, I'm just going to go back under here where it got rubbed off by the concealer. Um, if I can find my brush, under here. Oh, it's so nice. It's such a nice colour. Let's do lips as well. I'm using the MAC lip liner called Night Moth. It's so weird because this color is like a purple black, but it just looks red on me. It's the light from the camera as well, because I know the camera doesn't show everything, like, true to colour. Like, it's the same thing with cyber. You can see what colour that is, right? Like, you can... This is showing up right. It's like a purple black. But on me, it looks like this colour. So that's why I put Night Moth on underneath, hoping on a camera, it'll do the same thing as it does in life, and it'll look like the purple black it's meant to be. And of course now we've got lashes on, we got to put a bit more mascara on there to blend it all in. And that's the look done.